ECA is delighted to partner the African Union Commission and others in organizing Africa Trade Week, which brings together stakeholders from government, civil society, the private sector, and academia to have a big conversation on Africa's trading relations with the continent and with the rest of the world. And the whole purpose of this week is to encourage fruitful and stimulating dialogue among all stakeholders. So let me encourage all of us to be as interactive and engaging as possible. about it. We just fine tune it a bit and change the term. But we are just talking about it. We are not implementing it. Government has a particular responsibility to create the enabling environment. An environment where it is easy for the stakeholders, be their businesses, be their citizens, be their investors to do business. There is clearly a need in the aftermath of Brexit for there to be a, a degree of reassurance given uh, to Africa uh, that Brexit doesn't mean that the United Kingdom is going to turn its back on Africa. But I think I can give you the absolute assurance uh, that we see this in the UK as an opportunity to be seized, to put development at the heart of our trading relationship with Africa in a way, frankly, that it has not always been in relation to the EPAs. Let's be frank about it. Africa needs jobs. Our regional integration is the only basis of us being attractive to larger investors, to building the product in the virtual cycles that will start improving the productivity of our labor force. Based on the research done by the ECA and other, in order for us to talk about structural transformation, we need a growth rate of over 7%. And that's why we from the African Union are saying that we need to bring all the stakeholders together and to say, what does it take in order for us to make that 7% or more? We need to have a conversation with the whole of parliament as a facilitator of structural transformation and as a promoter of structural uh, transformation. There cannot be trans structural transformation without the role of parliament. For me, structural transformation is about that. To be able to promote backward and forward linkages between agriculture and the extractive sector and industrialization. As the negotiations continue, the work on the CFTA continues, that we look for entry points, we look for specific policies that are geared towards strengthening women's position and adding value for women in the CFTA process. We're going to have to customize the way in which trade integration works region by region based on the realities the economic realities, the development challenges of each of those regions. Trading among ourselves will be helping the economy to become more resilient to uh, from global, global shocks. The CFTA is coming in the context of the past 20 or so years where trade liberalization has been dominant as opposed to attention to investment in productive capacity. I think what we've got to do is to defend our markets against the entry of finished goods in defined areas because that can actually undermine the growth and development of the regional value chains. Uh, we now need to be, begin to think about implementation because these are the trends that we're going to have to address. And very briefly, i end on this specifically. Uh, this year we are devoting the next edition of the Assessing uh, Regional Integration in Africa report uh, that will come out next year, specifically to this issue of implementation. <coughs> We think that it's important. We think that we need to begin to put some robust proposals out there for member states to look at uh, so that once we have an agreement, we also have a plan uh, towards implementation. <laughs>